Wave Act, the web-free software company that understands what you want. Hey everyone and welcome at Wavex today with Hassan Sadiq. Hassan is co-founder of Biddle NFT, ambassador of the Commute Coin Network and a former CMO of Forms Network. Well, that is a lot. So we got a lot of experience today and today's topic will be all around marketing in Web3. We're going to talk about what are strategies in marketing, what are the differences to Web2 and what are opportunities in the future. We'll also shine a light on what if you are a marketer currently in Web2 and maybe want to migrate to Web3 because Web3, everyone wants to be in Web3 right now. And we got a CMO on our side today, so I guess there is no problem in anything. And well, with that being said, hey Hassan, thanks for being here. It was a pleasure talking to you in the last couple of weeks and the podcast is now finally there. So thanks for taking time. Uh, hey Christoph, it was a wonderful day for me to be on a podcast with Wavetech. I really appreciate your efforts, what you are doing in the industry. So yes, uh, the, the world is moving to our Web3, everything is in buzzword, Web3, NFT, Metaverse. So there's a lot of potential and you can see in the McKinsey report that they have evaluated Metaverse for trillion uh, economy. Uh, so it's a big potential in the, in the industry. So if the fun thing, if you take the first more advantage, you will reap the benefits in the long term. Yes. Definitely. Yes, absolutely. So um, we're going to talk about marketing in Web3 today. So if you could shine a light on what do you think are the, the differences between, let's say you're a company in Web2 right now and you want to migrate your marketing strategies to Web3 laying a focus on communities, what would you, what would be your advice to them? Uh, okay, uh, I, w- I would just take a past perspective, like when we were in 2000, when there was an internet boom, Web 2.0, so everything was new there. So the brands, they build an uh, audience, they build customer, they survive in the long term. Some companies did not survive, like we talk about some of the companies that they flourish in the market, like Google, you can say Amazon, they take a good strategic advantage of the Web2. So now the Web3 is all about community building. Like uh, we can see the past projects, they were successful due to their community, community and community. Yes. Absolutely. So uh, um, now laying a center on communities, what would be some, some thing to, to grow them? Well, the community is, is one of the most important things in a decentralized world. Uh, if you lose your community, your project is, is dead. So what would you advise someone to grow the community, uh, a strategy maybe? Yes, uh, in the recent project, like, there are a lot of uh, people that are, doing, that they are growing communities, but not in organic way. The one thing in the Web3 is necessary that you can bring people to the community, but they are not aware about the project. So what they will be doing in the community? They will be wasting your time, your effort, and also what is your mission or goal of the project. So Web2 marketing strategy, not it's the same marketing, but we should not apply whole on the Web3 because it's a new field. So you have to uh, work on the community side, organic side, not bots. And user Twitter has, yes, and a recent deal with uh, Elon Musk that Twitter has so many bots. So project should be careful about this. Mm-hmm. And create something engaging in the community life. It can be any uh, sort of games, any quizzes. So the people should uh, take interactive session and learn about Web3. So it's an emerging field. You have to train people. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And you also worked as a CMO. Now, what is it? What is it like to be a CMO of a company in Web3? Uh, lots of people know what it is in, in Web2 and what are the main tasks and res- responsibilities, but that field in Web3 is a bit different. So what would you uh, what would you think, what are the differences in Web3, especially as a CMO and regarding your strategies? Yes, yes Christoph, like in Web2, there are simple concept like Google Ads, everything is on the website. You don't have to worry about the content. Uh, but in Web3, there's a specific amount of uh, content so 
the commission to the content is very low. So for a CMO, he should be good at partnership with other communities, uh, have a good negotiation skill, so that he can influence people and uh, bring people on board. When I was working with the Forms Network, they were providing a substrate network uh, and they were launching on uh, Pink Finance sale. So what they were doing, they were raised at uh, 80 BNB uh, for their soft cap and 120 BNB for their hard cap. So yes, I work in this, this domain. Mm -hmm. And what about regarding opportunities in the future? What would you, what, what do you think, how does it evolve in which direction? Yes, like it's a new emerging field, uh, but but the one thing I would uh, recommend people to have a growth mindset in the Web3 industry. Uh, do not uh, feel like I have fixed mindset, so I will not pursue this career. It's a new emerging. Learn from other people. Like if you have a LinkedIn profile, go to LinkedIn. What people are doing in industry. Uh, for example, if Kistop is posting about something on NFT, read the article. What's happening? Listen to different people, mm -hmm. and then then realize the concept in a better way. But I think growth, have you have a growth mindset. Nothing is impossible, but if you, if you have a direction and focus. Yeah, definitely. It's all about, it's all about the mindset, right? If you yes, mindset. If, you, if you have a team, uh, fully committed people on the right track, uh, of mm -hmm. course, you and the one thing like the one thing I uh, surround yourself with the people that are in the web three. Uh, and select a mentor in the industry that have well, a lot of experience from you. Sit with them and learn from them. You will be a healthy person in the industry. Yeah, learning learning is key in Web three, and it, yeah. it is it is such a fast it's paced, a, such a fast a paced environment. Yes, it's a self learning world. You have to keep your knowledge, and learn and learn new things, different perspective. Now, now regarding uh. Regarding partnerships, um, what what are the, the the actions that that you as a CMO were responsible to to create that last that lasting partnerships with with other companies? Because in Web three, there's there's certainly a, a different approach in in how you acquire partnerships and how you 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 manage them, right? Okay, uh, I will talk about the compute plan because I was doing a partnership for them, so I will talk about this perspective. Uh, yes. Uh, for compute point, like they are providing the uh, cloud storage to metaverse for its infrastructure. So they are looking for the cloud storage company so they we can have a partnership with them. Uh, like you can know about the uh, Amazon AWS, which is a web two web two uh, storage central. Uh, but compute point is going to decentralize. Uh, so they have low latency fees and low cost structure. So that's why they are building partnership with other projects. So what I have done, what I was doing, like I was targeting those projects in the Web3 uh, uh, arena. So they were looking for the cloud story because AWS is highly, uh, mm. is highly, highly costly, uh, but compute coins have low cost latency. So yes, talk with them. Like I was randomly bring them to AMS session on Twitter, on uh, Discord, and have some discussion about the project have some mutual, mutual benefit that you will be getting from your community and you will be getting from us. So it's a one, two way partnership. Yeah. Win-win situation, we can call it. And it's, it's, it's such intercultural and uh, this, it's not restricted to a region, right? You, yes. Web3 is like, you look at us, we're, we're sitting thousands of miles apart right now and yes. talking about Web3 and this is exactly what yeah. Web3 is about. And yeah, it's in, yeah, awesome. in the, I, I think that in Web3, if you have skills, if you belong to any space, the platform is yours. Yeah. Like there's no restriction. Yes, only US, only Canada. You can be anywhere with your right skills. Because now the world is shifting toward the more skilled based education. So you have to grasp and, and identify trends in industry, like uh, see the opportunity. Where the industry is heading toward. Look at the patterns. Because patterns will tell you, okay, stick to the moment. It will it's <laughs> so, Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, it is such a such an awesome space and I can can only uh, recommend it to everyone. Now 
let's talk about marketers from Web two that that maybe want to migrate to Web three. I've read that a lot in the in the last days on on LinkedIn, and also I've seen some videos on TikTok. What what would you recommend them? Let's let's maybe think they want to their their path would be like a CMO one day in a Web three agency in a Web three marketing agency. What would you recommend to those people? Okay, so the one thing I would recommend that uh, they should first uh, take the concept of what is Web three. Uh, a lot of content is on internet. Read the articles uh, and relate with your current marketing concept and Web three. How you can like uh, integrate your Web three concepts in the Web three uh, dilemma. And also there are some online courses. Uh, Web3 fan on the LinkedIn. Uh, follow him. Uh, uh, I recently follow him. He's a wonderful guy. He is providing like opportunities. And the one thing, how to go for internship opportunities. If there is, if they are not paying you, learn from them. Tell them that I am I'm from Web2. I want to shift my career so I can do internship. In this, you can build partnership and learn from others what they are doing in industry. Partnerships are so important. Yes. Especially yes. with an internship, uh, I would also highly yes. recommend starting with an internship. Get to know people. Maybe there's one, maybe there's one connection enough to to bring you to another level. Uh, there is there is a there is a one there is a famous quote that a single one can a connection can change your life. Yeah, and this is true. Absolutely, this is true in Web three. Yes. So especially the, the platforms we're on right now. We see LinkedIn has changed its algorithm in the last days. There's also TikTok, um, Instagram Reels are also very, very important for, for creating and accessing the community. Now, what about, what about the platforms itself? On which would you lay focus for the future to, to promote things, to, to, to choose one platform to, um, Let's decide on, okay, we're going to do LinkedIn because that is the main platform for our community. What would you suggest? Okay. Yes. Okay. So like, first of all, if you talk about like more professional uh, settings, more business people are on LinkedIn. Uh, yes, we can develop partnership on LinkedIn because it's more accessible for us. But I was reading article on Reddit, like 60 to 70% audience on Reddit is only purely crypto and NFT user. So targeting Reddit and also Twitch or Discord. I would rank Reddit, Twitter, Discord. So these three platforms should be in priority. Uh, yes. Awesome. Hey, and I also read that you're ambassador of the CompuCoin network. Yes, yes, I'm also ambassador. I'm also working with the business development. Uh, so uh, I'm working on a MENA region right now. Uh, to build partnership for the good coin in our region, especially Dubai. Awesome, just just awesome, Hassan. And to to sum this up a bit, so we were talking about communities as the the major thing in Web three marketing. Now, what is your take on social tokens? Like, there was a um, Facebook one time um, surprised its community when when they decided to, to stop the, the free access from companies to their users and they switched to a paid model. Now in Web3, with social tokens and with many more things that let people access their community, what, what is your take on that? Uh, yes, I was working with some project, what they were doing, uh, they, they were doing NFT as a token. Uh, so when you enter the community, you have to give your MetaMask address. Uh, so it directly uh, open you to the community. So it can be good for your security reason, uh, for your reward. Like it could be easy for the projects to give some reward in a more uh, like in transparency. I think it it would, it would be great. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, it, it is important that you have access to your community at, at any time and have a long lasting partnerships with them. Yes, it, the, the, like, uh, in the industry there is a lot of scams so it can be like good for your integrity and transparency so you can just share your uh, token and get, get access to the 
community. Awesome, that's great. So uh, we've not talked about strategies that much. So um, web three marketing, as I've said previously, differs a bit from web two. What would you say are the major strategies for web three marketers in the space? The one thing I would recommend uh, community. Uh, make some good community, organic community, where all people are Web3 enthusiasts. Uh, I, I do know about the James Potter on like they have Web3 accelerated community on LinkedIn. Uh, they are doing, they are providing the Web3 uh, motivated to the Web3 project. So they have their own strategy like recruiting the talent and then adjusting into Web3 projects. Mm -hmm. So what they are doing, they are also uh, like cash out their own community in the Web3 space, they are, they are only one. And they are providing well the Web3 projects. So yes. Awesome. Great. So yeah, NFTs, we've not talked about NFTs yet or NFT projects. Um, what is your take on that communicating to the audience that like there are a lot of NFT projects out there that like have only a value for for the for the NFT itself. There's like no no usability, no uh, a bad UX when accessing them, and no utility, which is in my opinion the number one thing to consider if you're gonna do a NFT project in 2022 or 2023, and that project has no utility, throw it away. Right. So yes, first off, yes. As you can see on the open sea, like from past one year, there is a ninety percent decline in the NFT trading volume. What's happening? What do you think? Let me ask. Yeah, it's um, the current. So we maybe are in front of a crypto winter. So of course yes. the there's a crash everywhere. Binance just I guess it was six hundred million two days ago. Yes. Uh, Solana. Luna crash. Yeah. Solana is, is, I don't Did know. you invest in Luna? Did Sorry? you invest in Luna crash? Did you invest <laughs> in a Luna crash? <laughs> Luna was, Luna is also on the list. Yes. And with Solana, it's like, it's like a never ending story of, of security issues. We've not talked about the bridging thing, which maybe takes months to to really get that that secure bridges like transferring from ethereum to solana and back or binance this is all will be very interesting and i assume that we will be in a, in a crypto winter for at least a year or one and a half and with the bitcoin halving in 2024 i'm pretty sure that uh, tokens will skyrocket again and we will see another bull run yeah uh, so the one thing that I would feel like an open sea trading volume plummeted due to the crypto venture or something other reason inflation you can call it uh, but most of the NFT projects are targeting artwork apart from artwork there is a lot of uh, opportunities in other industries it can be media it can be in uh, rental uh, industry it can be a concert industry there is a lot of potential, like, but people are just focusing on the artwork. Like, if you see on OpenSea, all of the NFTs were sold due to like crypto fund, uh, big. Uh, so these are our artwork. So we can, uh, yes, we can also target different industries. It has a lot of potential. Yeah, we need we need utility for these. Um, there's also yes. physical NFTs are possible. And there's just, uh, we're just at the very beginning of, of NFTs, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we need another term for NFT because it's, yeah. But and solve real world, and solve real world problem. Like, uh, if you solve real world problem, your project is successful. Yeah, definitely. Um, there is, there is just so much opportunities to also when, when talking about soul bound tokens which we have uh, at Wayfact right now, uh, a small idea about personal identities for people. And yeah, so 
tons of opportunities in the space of marketing and engineering at Web3. And so to, to finalize, I would like you to, to maybe give us three major advices for juniors in marketing to, to, to get a better career or to start off in Web3. Yes, uh, I can give opportunity. Like if you have any someone in your uh, acquaintance, I can give him like internship opportunity that any uh, organization that I'm working with. Uh, so I have open start. So feel free to ask. I will assist you in this regard. That's not a big deal. Awesome. So but the, the one thing is the one thing is retirement. A growth mindset and you work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, great. Um, so Hassan, uh, thanks a lot for being uh, with us. Um, it was really a pleasure talking to you, and maybe we can do a follow up in the in the next weeks. It's thanks sure. a lot, and massive thanks for taking the time. And yeah, I really I really, I really appreciate your time, Christoph. Uh, you are guys are wonderful doing one of the job in the industry. So keep hustle, keep going yourself. This is yours. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Wei. See you. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. Take care. Wave Act, the web free software company that understands what you want.